What's up my pongyos, Andy, Andy Vlogs, excited to share with you guys this content here. As the title suggests, we're finally going to be reviewing the iPhone battery pack, parentheses MagSafe. Nonetheless, today we're going to be unboxing this, showing you how this works and if it's worth it. There's also going to be another video if you want to check down below in the description or up below in the cards of a comparison of three or four different products in the market and see if uh, how this pales in comparison. With that said, the release of the uh, battery pack here was very, very quiet. It was uh, pretty much via email only, and then I only saw it because I have a couple of websites that I follow that review products. I uh, pre-ordered this, and it came a couple of days after because it had to be shipped. They actually didn't carry this in my local Apple store. According to the product listings, it's saying here that it can charge up to 15 watts wirelessly. Now, if you need it quicker, you can actually connect to the device itself via via Thunderbolt or it says power adapter to get up to 20 watts. After scouring over the internet here, it turns out that this is not a very big battery. It's just under 1500 milliamps. I don't even think that's going to give you a single charge on the 12 Pro Max. Uh, with that said, I'm going to put aside all of my biases and I'm going to go through the product and then uh, I'll give you my recommendation at the very end. With that said, this is going to price you out at $99 even. Tax and shipping, shipping being free. Tax will be over $100. Let's see if this is worth it. All right, well, I've already gone ahead and pulled off the little pull tab here. You simply just have to pull and open it. Wow, that's that that gives me a real nostalgic feeling here. This is like this is like a throwback to Apple iPods when I first got my iPod. Man, uh, the plastic coverings as typical as it is, but uh, yeah, I mean this is really like a throwback, honestly, to when I bought my first iPod. Uh, the backside here, you can feel that it's got kind of this, um, I don't know, this soft depression-esque foam stuff that, that gives you a nice, um, I guess, grip on the phone. You've obviously got the MagSafe uh, symbol here and like connector on the sides and top. There really isn't anything else. There's no other like buttons or any other interfacing except for the Thunderbolt cable port here and the light for obviously when it's charging and whatnot so I'm gonna go ahead and just demonstrate it here for you you just connect it to the side it kind of fastens in place and ideally the light should go on I'm not seeing a light turn on nor did I see any animation which uh, leads me to believe that this device is dead so let's go charge it all right so we've gone ahead and we're charging it now I've got the Thunderbolt cable plugged in you can see that I'm using a very fast charging 20 watt plug you can check out the links in the description for this plug it's one of my favorites you can see here that the light is charging it's pulsing that means that it's charging let's go ahead now and attach it to the iPhone to show you what that looks like maybe there we go interesting I'm not getting the MagSafe annotation uh, I think this battery is completely dead that's why it keeps kind of fluctuating back and forth Meaning that uh, it's a dead battery. I have to charge it all the way. I've just started charging it, but that's kind of odd. It doesn't show you the uh, the MagSafe charging symbol. Let's try that again. It shows it's charging, but it doesn't give me the MagSafe charging symbol. According to the uh, the wrap sheet here, it's supposed to be charging at 15 watts. So you know, only time will tell. Uh, online, there's a couple of websites that show you how fast it charged and you know at what time and hours it seems like in about two hours it should give you quite a quite a bit but again it's only under 1500 milliamps all right pungyos well what's the verdict here is it worth it is it worth 99 dollars absolutely not this is this is garbage this is one of the worst products that in my opinion that apple's really come out this is not a sponsored video i was not paid to say any of this this i bought this for a hundred dollars and i'm i'm returning at 100%. This device is 1500 milliamps. It charges the same speed that some of the other competitors charge at. It did not come with a cable, did not come with a charging cable or a brick. I mean, the only thing interesting about it is it reminds me of my old iPod first generation. That's it. And I, I'm not gonna pay $100 to go on nostalgia alone. Honestly, you can get three very, very impressive devices that charge via MagSafe 
for almost the exact same price. Granted, uh, the Anchor is a little bit priced more, a little more expensive, but the iWalk has 6,000 milliamps. The Z Zira has 4,000 milliamps and the Anchor MagSafe is 5,000 milliamps. All of them are two or three times the amount. They've got uh, a bunch of accessories. They, they all came with plugs. This one, for heaven's sake, stands up on its own. If you want a, uh, a review uh, and a comparison of all of these devices here, check down below in the links in the description or up in the cards for a comparison. But uh, if you want my final verdict, don't buy this. Don't waste your money. You can put $100 somewhere else. With that said, folks, my name is Andy. This is Andy Vlogs. Please hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you on the next one.